Hey, what's up guys? It's Nash Crafter and welcome to my channel for another episode of Decidedly Vanilla. We are back on the server and today we are going to be doing some fun things. I have some stuff planned. I've been thinking about what we should work on with the village. You guys can see we are actually in Sea Haven. So we're going to be starting off with a couple of different things. I would like to go mining and I also want to show you guys something as well as take a look at something myself um, before we do a build. We're going to do a build in this episode. I'm so stoked for this build, guys. It's very different from anything I've ever done. I don't think I've ever done a build like this. So I'm super, super excited. But we've got a couple things to do first. In my last episode, I think it was my last episode. If I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure it was, but I asked my good friend Mythical Sausage if I could have a room in his house, and I was very, very pleased to see that he actually made a room for me, which is just so amazing. We have a skeleton over here that I'm trying to avoid. Is he going to see us? I really hope not. I don't want to fight some skeleton boote right now, but we might have to. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to. I don't have a sword, actually, guys. I think it'd be kind of cool to get a sword, but I need to go mining, which is what I was saying earlier. So let's put our stuff away, put my shulker box up, and we're going to go into Sausage's house and sleep in our new bed in my bedroom. Oh, but please don't. Please, please. So yeah, we're going to go into the new room that Sausage made for me, and I just want to say thank you so much to him for doing this because I literally came over and gave myself like a mini tour, and I was like, I really liked this tiny little room and he actually made me a bedroom, which is so nice. So it's right here. It's this little room here and it's really, really small, but it's so freaking cute and it's so adorable. And I watched his, I think he did this in a live stream. I can't remember. No, no, no. He did this in a video. He did this in a video. He decorated it and decked it all out and it just looks so, so cute. And I think it really fits I think it fits me. I like it. Blue is kind of the theme of my channel, which is so cool that he actually did that and kind of incorporated that into my room. So love the paintings, love the little closet. That's so cute. This guys, this is amazing. He made a special Nash banner, which we are definitely going to have to kind of sprinkle around our town that we're building right now, our fantasy village. And I'm very, very, very excited. I'm going to steal this design. I hope it's okay. And that is the new Nash crafter banner. So thank you sausage for coming up with that because honestly, I'm terrible at banner designs. So that's cool. We are, oh, I didn't sleep. I was like, you know what? We're going to sleep in our new room. And then I just never did. Let's go do that. I got so excited about the design that I forgot. And then now we are good to go. So it's morning time. We can pop on out and we need to go mining. So we need to come up with a place to mine. I have no clue where we're going to go. We do have the community mine, but I think I want to go somewhere that's not touched. Um, a place where we could definitely find a lot of good stuff. So I think what I'll do, guys, is I am going to go find a place and then I'll come back with you once I've figured everything out. All right, guys, so we are going on an old-fashioned strip mine. <laughs> um, so nothing too crazy, nothing really that exciting. Found some redstone, so that's good. And I got my silk touch pick, so this is going to be, this is going to be good. I'm just going to try to cruise through this as much as I can probably find a little bit of diamonds. Whoa, okay. We definitely don't want to walk into that. Did I bring a bucket? Probably not because I never come prepared for anything. I'm going to go make myself a bucket and then and then we'll kind of try to get across that little pond of lava so I can find some more diamonds. All right, guys. So I'm down in the strip mine, got myself a bucket of water, and I'm just going to town here, kind of just getting everything that I can. I haven't found any diamonds yet but I found some redstone some gold all right guys so I hit a cave and I saw some diamonds so I wanted to come back and show you guys exactly what's happening and this place is freaking me out because that because of zombies and things like that and I don't have a sword I only have this axe and axes are actually really good at killing mobs but at the same time I don't like using them I prefer a sword um eh, please don't keep me in lava Awesome. So I'm going to grab these diamonds. And there we go. Hello? There are... Oh my word! Whoa! Okay, let me let me light this up so you guys can see. Because I want you guys to see what's going down. We're good on this end. So I can get myself some lapis. This is amazing. I think caving, honestly, is kind of the way to go. Like getting yourself in a super low cave. And then you, you get to see things open to you. Is there a dungeon over there? There definitely is. Dungeons are fun, guys, but I don't know. Seems a little... I don't know. I have a lot of stuff on me, and I really don't... 
I would prefer not to die with a bunch of my goods on me. So maybe we could remember where this is and come back and maybe like take it on. I think it's just a spider one, so it's not too bad or anything. But let me see. Let's grab these diamonds. I've laid out everything. Well, I've laid out all of the materials that we collected or the ores that we collected. So I've got my gold and my iron smelting up in here. I believe, yeah, we have, this is going really fast. So we have a lot. And I've got these over here and this monstrosity of a wall. It's a wall of coal. It's a huge big block of coal. I got a little bit carried away with the coal, I gotta admit. But that's okay, because uh, you can never have enough, I guess. So what we're going to do is we're going to fortune three this. So this was on my car keys, which are right over here, my car, car keys. I just keep like extra tools here. And I should have brought these with me when I went mining, but I didn't even think about it. So we're just going to do it here and now, which is always good. So did you guys see that? Holy freak. Okay, so we got 54. And then we'll do the diamonds last because everyone loves diamonds and they're really exciting. And diamonds are a man's woman's best friend. Everyone's best friend. Diamonds are everyone's best friend. Let's be real. So we're going to do some redstone action here. This is looking really good. Having redstone is good. I think we're almost going to have too much of this because I do have some back at the piston house, but I did make the storage room and we have a place to put this much. So I think we'll be okay. This is getting me some levels as well, which is always a good thing. So guys, how, how's your families? How are you doing? How is your day bit? I would really like to know if you want to write it down in the comment section. I read all the comments. So I hope you guys are doing well and everything is going really good for you. But we are almost done with the redstone. We are in the final stretch. We got this. Everything is going great. And boom. And boom. And boom. So yeah, we are getting all of the coal down. Things are going well. We're getting so much. And this is definitely going to take me a couple minutes. So I think I'll come back with you guys once I'm through the coal. And just show you how much I collected. Alright, so all the coal is done. And this is what I got. So it's looking good. And that was it. The mountain of coal is gone. <laughs> so all good there. We are going to just dump this actually in my little auto smelter. We've got so much coal backed up here. But that's okay. That's always a good thing. So I'm not complaining. But we're going to take... Again, our fortune three and head over for the diamonds. This will get me a good chunk. I think there was 19 blocks of diamonds here and blocks of diamond ore. So we're just going to see what happens. See what goes down and see how many we get. So we're already at 18. And don't forget to put your guesses down. Um, it might be too late now. But you, you can get a head start. You can see where we're going from this point on. So we've got this last one. And we've got 39 and we got 40 okay so pretty cool we got a lot of diamonds from that i'm happy and i actually picked up a stray coal on the way we are good to go so guys we are on to the building portion of today's episode i'm so excited for this this is what i have been waiting for all episode so as always i'm probably going to do a time lapse because it's just easiest for me personally to do a time lapse while I'm building. It gives you guys a way of seeing the whole build. You guys get to see it from start to finish. You know, it, no hopping around, no jumping around. You guys literally get to see it from the ground up, which I love. And also, I can focus. I can concentrate on exactly what I'm doing. And sometimes when I'm trying to commentate and build at the same time, I, I get a little confused or I get like, I kind of slow down way more than I would if I was just going and just building. So I really enjoy time lapses and I hope you guys don't mind that I do them quite often. You guys can see I already have a little map laid out of the shape. It kind of looks funky now, but I promise it's going to come together and look really cool. So it's going to be similar to the pergolas over here, sort of similar, it kind of has a similar theme at least. It's not going to be exactly the same, of course, but I want it to be a sister building to the pergolas. So it's going to be a place where I kind of hold extra seeds and hold some food and we are going to cue the time lapse. So I'll see you guys after it's all finished. Thank you. 
welcome back guys after that time lapse so this is what i came up with i hope you guys really like it this is such a fun build i lo i love it so much i love 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 it it's just a very overgrown house i i wanted to bring some of the like bushes on top i don't know if that makes any sense but like i've seen some of these houses in real life used in architecture and also in i've seen it a couple times in minecraft which i think is really cool it looks awesome so i wanted to take a whack at it and kind of do my own spin on sort of what i think it would look like and i think it turned out okay i really do like it i even went over and some of the stuff wasn't on the video but i did go over and I added a little chimney with some smoke. Now, I've never done this before, the little smoke trick. I think it's really cool. At least I don't think I have. Um, it's just really cool. You just get cobwebs and it kind of looks like the chimney is actually smoking. And I really like it. We've got some uh, smoke rings happening in the sky right now. Super cool. But I wanted to do the interior with you guys on camera because I thought it would be kind of fun. I don't know. So basically, this is supposed to be the kind of partner build to that one so we want it to be very earthy very so it has natural stuff in it it also does have a fireplace which doesn't make a lot of sense but nothing in this world i think is going to make sense because it's a fantasy it's supposed to be a fantasy world and i don't know why you would have a fireplace a giant fireplace inside of a a plant store i guess you could say it's not really a store it's just kind of a place to hold plants uh yeah you got this little back door here that you can go out and harvest the crops bring them back in we do have the chests over here so most of the items will be stored out here in the chest but if i do need extra space we can always put some chests in here so that's kind of the idea. Then there's going to be a few more plants here. And I already did set up myself a sneaky little water hole right here. So I can actually uh, till this ground and then plant things there. So that's sneaky just so you guys know. And on the back side, let me, let me run around really quick. There's actually a bush thing and you can see the water through the bushes but you know what it's fine we're gonna ignore it so yeah guys interior we gotta do the interior of this and i just decided to use dirt and grass and some wood here some spruce wood as the the flooring just to make it look natural also you gotta have potted plants everywhere it's not a build if you don't have a potted plant somewhere so we gotta put that there we'll put like a little uh, we'll put a flower or a sapling Ooh, a sapling i love putting saplings in these things yeah that looks so good so then i think we'll go up on each side just to add some detail like this uh so yeah we're gonna go back inside we're going to put a couch here it's gonna look it's gonna look a little strange and it also is going to be freakishly close to the fire you're gonna have to watch your feet and your socks and make sure they don't burn off because that could be a thing that happens in this place so it became nighttime so I just slept really quick. You can see the sun is just rising over the hill there. And I laid out a few things. I was kind of lost on where I wanted to go because I have my reference pictures. But then I was like, do I really want to do that? So I was feeling a little conflicted. But I'm, I'm feeling better about the situation now. So I wanted to come back and show you guys exactly what's going down. Not much has changed. So I put the couch in. And like I said, it's very, very, very close. So you're going to have to watch your feet while the fire is burning. And then I want to do something like that just to put a little back on the couch and then I got some item frames or not item frames I did get item frames but I got some more pots I want to get some flowers so I think I'll wait off on that one Ooh, I also would like to hang up some little some bits of lighting here and there so I think we'll go there and we got a torch and then there yeah, that looks nice it like really brightens up the area so I think we'll go with that let's add some little what you calls them some wooden trap doors if you actually put those in the frame so you want to put the torch on the wall and then you want to put the trap door in the actual item frame so that's how you kind of achieve that trick so we're going to click on the item frame and it looks like it's being held up it's super cute i'm sure you guys have seen this trick a million times but if you haven't that is how you do it so it's very very cute what else so we need to do the little farm over here and then i also want to put a, a crate of pumpkins in here so i think i have do i have pumpkins i thought i did and this is just going to be for decoration this could be an extra place to hold pumpkins i don't know we'll see how it goes but we could go like boom so they're kind of all pointing in different directions giving it some variety and then trapdoors gotta have trapdoors everywhere boom 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 oops 
that one's definitely wrong. You know what? Let's add a pot there because I don't know. Why not? <laughs> And you guys can see that the water will spread over here. It does spread to four blocks if it's on the same level. So the water is perfectly level with all of these. So it'll spread over all the way to this block over here, which is really cool. Wait, one, two, three, three. yeah, this block over here. Just wanted to double check. So let's do some beetroot there, beetroot there. And let's do potato there, potato there, potato there. So just to kind of have a variety, would like to... I want to sprinkle them around and spread them out and make them different so that they're not all the same. And this is a really cool trick that you can do with your farms to make them look very organic and natural. So this is just going to be a place for extra, extra crops. They're just going to look like this. Nothing too fancy going on there. I will set up a fire here, but I also would really like to make an upstairs because it's always nice to have a place to sleep. I find myself running out of places to sleep and I have to run all the way over there or all the way over here. So having places in between I think would be really good. So let's put a little upstairs in this and I think we'll just do it right here and then pop a hole there and uh, I can't get up. You're kidding. That did not just happen. Oh my god. I cannot believe that just happened. No. I didn't light up the upstairs, guys. I'm such a noob. What? No, nah, it's okay, guys. I will completely fix this. I'm honestly, this is so funny. I cannot believe because I saw him. I saw his little feet come down and come and get me but i was like no there's no way that's a creeper and then he sat on my head and it was a bad time all right guys so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna fix up the house and then i'll come back with you guys once i've kind of finished everything up and we'll finish out the video all right guys so i am back um but honestly that was really funny at the same time too i just like i sat there afterwards and i was like i can't believe that happened i cannot believe a creeper just like came down from the heavens and just exploded guys i finished the interior i think it looks really really cool and i'm excited to show you guys how this build turned out so let me actually show you the build i was kind of sagging there a little bit uh but let me actually show you the build so Let's head on inside because I need some food. Oh, it's becoming nighttime. Okay, that's fine. I can show you guys the upstairs because there's a bedroom. So this is what it looks like on the inside. And let me actually turn off my F1 so that you guys can actually see this. So this is, it's, it's a little cramped and a little crowded, but honestly, I'm loving this style recently. And I've noticed that I do this a lot in The Sims as well, is I will just like clutter everything i love clutter i think it looks really cool when it's done correctly i like it when it's when it's unnecessary clutter then i don't really like it but if it's if it's done good <laughs> i i really enjoy it so this place is kind of cramped kind of crowded so over here we've got the little farm area i think it looks really cute so i do need to put the little um thingies back because the creeper did blow this one up i don't know what happened to this one over here but the little item frame or the frame with the i need to add that um but i got the hoe up there so that's good and <laughs> i got some furnaces and some chests and again like i said just the little crops over here i think they look really really good and the couch with the the fireplace the fireplace doesn't really work and i kind of want to give this whole build uh, the look that no one really comes here a lot. So I, I wanted it to look like they use the bottom, but not really the upstairs. Like someone doesn't really live here, but it's still being used for like maintaining crops and they just kind of store crops here. And that's pretty much all it's used for. Um, the occasional person will sleep here. So if we go upstairs, we can plop that down. We do have to put that down in order to get out. If I put that like, see, I can't do that unless it's down. And then I can get in. So it's a little bit of a tricky way in, but that makes it kind of fun because no one's really supposed to come up here anyway. This is just a special place to sleep. So this is the little sleeping area. We've got some cobwebs. Again, showing that people don't really come up here too often. No one dusts, you know. They, they don't care about that. They just sleep and then leave and that's pretty much it. We've got some dead plants. Again, like no one's been taking care of them. No one ever comes up here. And then a couple furnaces and just some torn up carpet. So 
I like it. it. I think it gives off the impression and the aesthetic that I really wanted it to. So then we can head back down. No more creepers up there because I did light it up. And then I also added this detail to the roof as well. Kind of this checkerboard <laughs> trapdoor thing going on. I don't know. I just thought it looked really cool and it made it look very quaint and tight because it brings the roof down just even a little bit more to where it feels like you're almost could brush your head on the trapdoors a little bit. Yeah, I really, really like this. And again, I said I wanted to sleep. So let's head upstairs and we will sleep. Oh, oh, oh. I'm starting to think this trapdoor situation is a little hectic, but that's fine. So we are going to sleep here. Nash Crafter 1 was blown up by a creeper. Yeah. <laughs> I had so much fun with this build. I don't know. It was just something that I really enjoyed because I don't do things like this a lot and I think this really adds to the space and it fits in next to our pergolas. I also did add this little pathway out here so you could kind of... I'm really afraid of creepers now. Look, there's one over there just waiting to come and blow me up again. I did add a path out here just so you could kind of access this farm. I will add a main path off the front, but I don't exactly know the layout of this area yet. I think I want to add a few more buildings before I really start laying out paths because, again, I just really don't know. I don't know what else to add here, but it's it'll come to me, I think, and then we'll start adding some more things. But yeah, guys, that is going to have to be it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching, and it really means a lot to me. I hope you guys liked this build in this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button, and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe if you did like this video. I will hopefully catch you in the next one. I'll talk to you very soon. Bye, guys.